mental fortitude and technical excellence. Both qualities will be pivotal as this important occasion unfolds. We cannot wait to find out who will prevail. Excitement in the air. The action is live. The floodlights are beaming down on the players here at Stamford Bridge in West London. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Chelsea up against Aston Villa. Thanks Derek. Well this should be a decent game today. Both managers will have a game plan. Both teams have a certain style of play and both sides will want to start quickly. I'm looking forward to this. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And here's the starting eleven for Aston Villa. Matty Cash plays with Luca Dina in the fullback positions. John McGinn plays with Leon Bailey in the wide areas. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. <laughs> and the game begins. Palmer with it. Perfect tackle. John McGinn. Teammates in the middle. A deft clearance. Palmer with it. Well, very effective play in possession. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And a really powerful strike from João Felix. Great technique. That's a top-class goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Amadou Onana. Watkins, and they stopped them in their tracks. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. It looks promising. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bailey. And Cash with it. Leon Bailey. Now look at this, they might be able to cash in here. That's a good ball. Watkins and that's a very good parry well Villa are still behind but you can sense they're increasing the tempo now out of play then for a Villa throw in
Joao Felix. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. John McGinn. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Jaden Sancho on the ball Joao Felix well, you can sense the threat is there could cross it in here well no problems defensively Leon Bailey well a good tackle It's a neat move. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. <laughs> now sending it in. And will struggle to get it away properly. from the keeper to avert the danger Matty Cash and Bailey looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game could be a chance to break here Sancho Will he play it in? Not unable to make anything of the cross. Tielemans. On to Rogers. Possession one. Fernandez. Malo Gusto. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. fans wanted to see the lead extended to two goals well let's take another look and you have to say the defending is so poor that's far too easy the keeper had no chance there So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Bailey. Could pull one back here. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer the goalkeeper. Moises Caicedo. Fernandez. Jaden Sancho. And a chance to whip it in here. And it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. And space to cross it. 
It might be on for them. Cash. Cross could be useful. The switch of play now. Joao Felix. Could be. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And the referee will go back now to the earlier incident. Yellow card it is. And he's fired over the corner. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happens. Almost at half time, and they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they're dominating this first half. Their approach play, their cleverness around the box, and the finishing have been excellent. They just need to continue this going into the second period. Oh, showing good patience. Fofana. Gusto. Enzo Fernandez. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And the referee sees it as a good challenge. Teammates available. Cross was deep, a little too deep. Cash. Determined defending. Gusto. Fernandez. Possession seeded by Chelsea. And passing it well. So the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, the story so far of Joao Felix at his brilliant best. He's been wonderful to watch. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals. What a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. So the beginning of the second half here in West London. Incisive pass. Oh, but there's defensive diligence for you when things look dangerous. Mali prevented it from going over the line. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Felix prepared to take on the shot. Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to be improved if they're to get back into this one. Fernandez. Could be threatening. Given away by Chelsea. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. And that'll be Aston Villa's ball.
Luca Dina. Watkins. Fluency of movement. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? A well, disappointing end to the move. Sancho. Happy to shoot. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Timely intervention. Leon Bailey. Here's Matty Cash. Thank you. Tielemans. Bailey. Bailey. And crossing towards the far post. Oh, it's a wild, wild finish. And with play stop, they will make the change now. And into the last 30 minutes now. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Well timed tackle. McGinn. Not an especially strong challenge. Well, that was an opportunity to get themselves back into this contest. Well, it's a chance, yes, and one they needed to take. They're struggling here, no doubt about that. Kukureya. Well, after pressing like that, maybe the short route to goal. Well, a shot from miles out. Well, that was a very respectable effort from such a long way out. Well, he hits it cleanly, and it's a very good strike, but just not on target. And Chelsea have given us away. McGinn. Oh, breezing past him. Now he opts it for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. Felix. It needs an accurate cross. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Bailey. On to McGinn. Watkins. given away Leon Bailey oh no, no. excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward the routine save Palmer Palmer with it Malo Gusto Sancho, well, they stopped them in their tracks. He has teammates around him. That's a lovely ball. Tielemans, well, unable to bend his run offside. 
Here it is now, a substitution. Kukureya. Sancho now. They've regained possession. And that'll be a Chelsea ball. Joao Felix. Jadon Sancho. Sancho! Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Tielemans. Just ten minutes remaining here. Consa. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. McGinn. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Jaden Sancho. And he's keen on cutting in. Now, who can he pick out? And able to close down the shots. Played over. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Pau Torres. Ramsey. Here is Digne. Well, not long to go now, and Chelsea have been superb, Stuart. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Nkunku. And return to Sancho. And quick thinking defensively. Cash. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Nkunku. McGinn. Good use of advantage there. Consa. Good ball over the top. And a good take under duress there. Madueke. Malo Gusto. Felix. Really fine piece of defending. He must finish. Oh, and it goes. Now he has his hat trick. A special moment for him. Here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. So the final whistle, and what we can say officially now is that Chelsea have picked up maximum points from this fixture.
You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. 